the impression that I have gotten from talking with other coaches in Europe recently is that the American influence on coaching these days is is huge. Now, I would have I would have expected that the Russian influence would have been quite big, as you say, in the late 70s and maybe even in the early you know into the 80s, perhaps in the 90s as well. Um, is that something that you've seen change over time? I can't really speak to it that much um, because I wasn't I wasn't there at that time and. It's on my part a lot of supposition. Uh, I I think that probably the Russian Polish uh, systems were to some degree widespread uh, throughout Europe, uh, Western Europe. They were the the most successful, and uh, I think there were particularly a lot of Polish coaches who uh, who ended up in the West. A lot more so than than Russian or Soviet coaches, um, but I but every country has um, developed, I think, in a sense, their own way, their own methodology, and I am not convinced actually that the American uh, the American model is that is as widespread as as people um, maybe think that it is. Oh, that's fair enough. Um, maybe it's the mo maybe the model, especially the model these days, um, with the the game. The whole game teaches the game that Kessel really pushes. Um, I could see where that probably isn't as well distributed. I suppose because even in the U.S., it's relatively recent. Probably the the biggest uh, area is is maybe the indirect um, is indirect through Velasco and the. The Italian coach from the 80s, who was he was a disciple of uh, more of McGowan than Beal, and he uh, he took a lot of McGowan's original ideas and um, worked with them and converted them into a particular uh, Italian stroke Argentinian uh, kind of uh, kind of system, and and that was the the predominant coaching philosophy, coaching style, uh, or coaching methodology that was in in Italy through the, the 80s and 90s when they really took off in the world. And um, Essentially, it, it's, it has the same, uh, uh, same root, philosophical, methodological root, the, the Italian way and the American way, but but other than that, I, I would say that there's there's some differences. Um, that actually brings up kind of a side question. It's it's interesting to me to see the dispersion of nationality among the coaching ranks. Is for not to pick on anybody here or anybody at all, but um, there aren't very many say, Germans at the Top level, but there are a lot of Argentinians, there you know Italians. There, you even see Aussies scattered around, like yourself. Um, what do you think drives certain nationalities producing producing better coaches or or more coaches? I guess could be the case than than others. Is it is it a structural thing, or is it just a, a volleyball culture thing? I think it's 100% volleyball culture that. Um, uh, the um, I from my observations, I'd say ninety percent of the reason that there's a limited number of professional coaches in Germany is because they don't have a culture of professional volleyball, and so uh, people just don't begin on the path. And and uh, Argentinians and Italians is uh, exactly the opposite. In in Italy, um, they have professional coaches as in full-time professional coaches, um, at least to third league, or in, historically they have. Now the situation may be different, but um, but it's been a worthwhile uh, profession, a worthwhile um, line of study to, to go into into coaching. And, um, Lozano, the, the Argentinian coach who, who coached the German national team and Polish national team, he, he talked about 
uh, wanting to be a coach when he was in his 20s and going to his local club and beginning um, with the juniors, with the 13-year-olds or 12-year-olds or whatever, and, and uh, with the goal of being at some point in the future a professional. And I think that volleyball is such a small, uh, such a small sport um, that not every country has the professional culture that uh, drives coaches particularly into into wanting to do this full time. And I'm in the German. Uh, situation. I'm. I'm certain that that's the that's the biggest reason. 